we talked about brand at this event. Yeah. And it was crazy to hear the threads, you know, between different companies mm -hmm. and and how brand is like I, I love the you started to say something which is like brand is gonna be kinda like the great equalizer for all these companies today, right? Hundred percent. Say more about that. Yeah. So we had um on the panel mm -hmm. was myself and DG and then we mm -hmm. had two companies yep. that were consumer companies. Yes. Right? One was Wealth Simple. Yep. Uh, investment. They do like financial investment. Yeah. App. Are yeah. you gonna ask me the name of the other company? Yeah. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. No, what are you crazy? Like, uh, it's women's underwear. Yeah. I forgot the name of it. I Shout out to you, you, Joanna. I do you know the name you. of it? Nikki. Uh, <laughs> it was Joanna. Nix. 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 Wix. Something like that. Nix. Yeah. Nix. Sorry, Nicks. Joanna. I can't believe. We'll you. put the link in the show notes. We'll send That's you some rude. traffic. Anyway, we were talking about consumer. Then we were talking about basically how there isn't a separation between e the right. two anymore. And right. I think that's where it's going to go. I think someone in the audience asked about B2B sales and marketing, this and that and whatever, and this whole thing. And I said, and then contrasting that to the other two guests on there and their consumer businesses, I said, I said in five to 10 years, there will not be any difference. I no. think, you know, the idea of sales and marketing of how we have it now in terms of role, even roles won't exist in that form in 10 years, right? And th th there won't be a difference between the two because at the end of the day, those walls are being broken and everyone is buying, right? Just like everyone buys in their normal lives. And mm -hmm. so the, the two will flatten. And that's the trend, one of the mega trends that we based Drift around. Sure. And, uh, and so I think in that world, learning from other consumer companies, learning from the current consumer companies, the ones that have done well, those are the models, mm -hmm. right? I wouldn't model after a B2B company today if you were a new entrant in B2B or an existing one, I'd be modeling at just who are the ones who are good at what they do. And uh, those are largely consumer based businesses. And I, I think the thing is like the thing we get a lot of questions about is, is like, okay, yeah, but DG like for brand you guys, it's like these videos and selfie mm -hmm. style stuff. I'm like, <laughs> that's for us though. That works for us. Cause that fits that, us. That fits us. That fits our brand. Our brand is like, we want to be real. I, I want to feel the same. Like I want you to feel the same uh, having a conversation with me as on this podcast. Right. And mm -hmm. like, if you hear DC on the podcast, he's going to feel the same if you ran into him on the street. Right. That's, that's a which key. Which is piece. always a funny thing, which uh, when I do run into people, they're like, you're oh, the you same. Look, you're the right. podcast. That's I'm a like, crazy thing. Yeah. There's only one version. Right, that is the craziest part. They expect this you is to not be an act. different. Yeah, and that's the Patagonia thing, which is like it's easier to write nonfiction than and, it is. And to that kind of sums up the whole thing. B two B, in terms of marketing and sales, B2 fake it. has been fake and different. You had to put on a persona. You had to put on your business clothes. You had to pretend you were someone yeah. you weren't. This is business right in DC. your normal life. And what we're saying is that's going away. And it's all going to be personal, yeah. right? It's all going to be human. It's whoever you are, that's who I want to do business I, with. I got this question on a webinar I did the other day. We were talking about brand. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was actually with um, the trust radius. They do like ratings and reviews. And somebody mm -hmm. said, I don't want to, you know, I'm afraid of like putting myself out there. And I was like, look, there is no hack for this. This is how business is going to be in 2018. And so you have two options. You can either be uncomfortable with it and get lapped mm -hmm. by other people or get comfortable with it. I said, think about yourself as a consumer, right? You and I go to a new city for drift, right? We go look for a restaurant. You mm -hmm. find a restaurant that's right there, but it has no reviews. Yep. Are you going to go to that restaurant? No. Hell no. That's how I found my new favorite vegan spot up Great in uh, plant-based, sorry, yeah. plant-based spot up in, uh, yeah. up in Toronto because vegan, I found it vegan. online, found great reviews on it. Uh, immediately Google mapped it. Where was it? Saw some great yeah. reviews again. And I walked yeah. over and just uh, had a great meal. So, so like the video stuff, that's what works for us. But I think there's lots of ways to be authentic and build a brand that mm -hmm. are not selfie style videos. Maybe mm -hmm. it's the way that you write or it's the way your website looks or mm -hmm. it's the types of events you have or it's the swag you send out to your customers. Like there's a lot of stuff. It doesn't have to be. That's what works for us. And that's mm -hmm. what yeah.